Well, this is something special, huh? Yeah, right? One of us hasn't been on Open House in a couple weeks. Elise? Elise? I don't know. I don't I remember. Don't follow the channel. What was the last <laughs> Funhouse video you've watched? I just gave notes on Disc Jam. No, on the channel. Yeah. Not something that's an, a paid obligation. I don't know. Autumn leaving Sugar Pine or something. Those kids crack me up. Every single night, I will fill the bath halfway with lukewarm water. Just I enough will lie to in it drown. and rewatch all the Funhouse videos starting from the beginning. It's getting harder every night. We make Funhouse? Question mark? <laughs> will you subscribe to the channel for fuck's sake? <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually not subscribed to the Funhouse channel. Are you really? We're saving it for a rainy day when we need that one sub. Exactly. Thank you, Lords. I want to be the two million sub. It'll happen to us eventually. We just need to be patient. Just as long as we check our watches. We'll always know what time it is for us to hit 2 million subscribers. Vincero is a sponsor of this episode of Open House, and they have a very special deal for you. We're going to hear more from them at the end of the show. Thank you for your sponsorship. We need our own doomsday clock. Hey, first question this week comes from Daremuid. What one thing do you, uh, do you do every morning to make sure your day goes well? I have actually gotten into the habit of drinking two full glasses of water every single morning whenever I wake up. Yeah, so I wake up at 7.20, I go to the kitchen, I get the jug ready, and then I hear, wife, prepare the water. Yes. <laughs> Switch me, I say. <laughs> Switch me. And then she ladles it into my mouth. The first thing you should do every morning should involve water, but James is doing it wrong. You do what every fucking red-blooded American does. You get in your wave pool, and you swim around, and you absorb the water through your pores. Watch out for those inner tubes, though. I just, I got them in there. I don't know how to get them out. Open your mouth and your eyes and swim for a mile. The best thing is you won't have to blink because the water keeps your eyes moist. Exactly. And you won't have to <laughs> breathe because there's oxygen in water. You guys are onto it, because uh, my technique involves both opening my mouth as wide as possible and a lot of water. Okay. As we all know, uh, taking medicine makes you healthy and keeps you young. Mm -hmm. So I've been adding one pill to my regimen every day. Oh, very And now good. I'm at about a full double handful that I just scoop into my mouth. Oh. Here's the trick. Okay. Take it all in one swallow. In your Save body. time. Yeah, it's yeah. all one lump of medicine and your body mm. has to attack it all at once. Yeah, yeah. I guess, why don't they just make vitamins bigger? Stupid. Do you know what the pills are or is it just like multicolored things from the 70s? There was a time I knew. Um, but in the years since, my you know my mind is going, yeah, and I've been having visions, uh, heart palpitations, and arrhythmia. <laughs> anyway, uh, point is, I, I stopped writing it down, and now oh. it's just it's whatever comes out of the bag, whatever you can find. Yeah, at least you have a routine. I wake up in the morning and I go on my Google uh. box and I <laughs> she loves that I Google. say sports night rebooted Matthew Perry uh -huh. Sorkin back, okay, and then I never see it getting rebooted. Oh. oh. I thought you were going to say shit a lot. I do that too. <laughs> Next question from Metamacha77. If you could summon any Disney character like in Kingdom Hearts, who would it be and what would you summon them for? Mine's easy. The crows from Dumbo. Oh yeah. Yeah. So that way they could teach me how to fly and probably be called very racist things. No. They were the only kind characters in that whole movie. But how were they drawn and how do they act? That doesn't matter. What is the purpose My tweet of a sock racist. Mm -hmm. that doesn't cover your heel and doesn't cover your toes. <laughs> what does that do? It's adorably hobo. <laughs> it's racist. No! It's very racist. <laughs> Adam? I'd probably summon any character from the Black Cauldron, because I've never seen that movie. I have. <laughs> have them explain it to you? Oh, yeah, it'd be great to learn it through video game form. Uh-huh. That's, okay. there's like a kid, and then there's a woman who also looks like a nondescript Disney character. Isn't They're there? all, it's a, it's a cartoon entirely made of extras from other Disney cartoons. <laughs> I changed my answer to Dark Crystal. Oh, perfect, <laughs> yes. I'd summon Tarzan before he learns to talk. And I'd be like, put your fingerprints on this gun. <laughs> 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 and I would frame Tarzan Very nice. for murder. He would know. He's yeah. a simple, he's a simpleton. And jail is probably better than being out in the oh, wild. Absolutely. And he could probably defend himself in he prison yeah, if he needed to. Ape strength. Ape strength. <laughs> that was Phil Collins, right? He played Tarzan in the he live action, Tarzan. I think. Mm -hmm. I, I'd summon a young Kurt Russell. Oh, young I'd Kurt Russell, oh. yeah. barefoot executive. Exactly. Very nice. nice. So that way I get in good with him. We're tight bros. And then later, when he's swearing up a storm in Quentin Tarantino movies, oh. I'll be there too in the background holding his stuff. And you and Kurt Russell could team up to solve the Walt Disney mystery. Exactly. Where on his desk he only had he had Kurt Russell written on a notepad, and mm -hmm. everyone was it's like, spelled "What? Wrong. What an idiot! How do we know he's not referring to a different Kurt Russell? Yeah, there's only one. Maybe there's an executive with shoes on. That means I get to be at Fast and Furious. We're gonna be best friends." Is he in that franchise? Yeah. Fuck. 
He's also saying yes to everything, by the way. Uh -huh. Good for him. He's like, you know what I'll do? Quentin Tarantino, then the Christmas Chronicles. Then I'll probably do some other piece of garbage. The only thing Kurt Russell said no to is when Goldie Hawn said, will you marry me? <laughs> <laughs> She's Mrs. Claus. You got to watch the post credit sequence. Is she? Yeah. You didn't stick around, did you? No. Christmas Chronicles ended and you were out of the room already. Uh, I was out before <laughs> then. <laughs> My lol 13. Uh, I've been on public transport for five hours at this point. If you were each hired to invent a new public transport system, what? would it be? Blimps. People are using blimps all the time now. We need to stop that. Oh, I thought you were gonna bring back blimps. No, Zeppelins are taking over the world and I, I can't stand it. I was so excited for the prospect of blimps because they had all the docks at the tops of tall buildings. Yeah. <laughs> so you would imagine getting off. You're, oh, meet me at the top of the Empire State Building. Yeah, it's funny because they, <laughs> they thought it and they went, oh, that's such a good idea. Except wind is insane. The higher up you go, yeah. so the blimps are, no, no. <laughs> and people got off and <laughs> just blown off immediately. So there's a flaw to this plan. Well, we're in the 21st century, so we're gonna establish the stand escalator. You know, no. it's a conveyor belt you stand on and you strap your feet in so you can go upside down, sideways, two ways, any ways you want ways. You sound like Walt Disney before he croaked and wrote Kurt Rithville. <laughs> I like the idea of slides. How you slide up? You don't have to. Yeah, he's right. The earth naturally goes at a slope anyway. Uh, so just go to the top mm -hmm. and then you always go down and then or before you know it, you're just back wait up. for the earth to turn. Yeah. So that way you, if you're if you're like, okay, well at noon it'll I'll be at the top and then I can slide down again. That's why if you jump rope, the earth will just move underneath your feet. Yeah. You just have to jump up. You just wait. James, you'll note slides are a good idea. Mm -hmm. But they never you never pay to slide when you're on vacation. You do pay to zip line though. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's very true. So I say we we knock out all these slides and put up cables. People strap in, yep. zip right to work. Yep. And then at the end of the day, you strap in again and you zip somewhere else that's lower than where you are. I know what answer you all think I'm gonna go with, rollerblades, but you're wrong, but also right. It's gonna be rollerblades, but the ones the wheelies used in Return to, <laughs> never, blades? Or Return to Oz. Or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, so you don't use your back feet. Yeah, Those yeah. are for walking, silly. Quadroblades. This is from Wet Dumpling. Vape companies are running out of trendy ways to get kids to vape. How would you market to kids that they should vape? Vape. The problem is they're too bulky. So if they're, you could shrink a vape down into just a small mm -hmm. cylinder. They're also, they have all these bells and whistles and lights and stuff. Mm -hmm. If you could shrink it down in just a white, just a small white cylinder. Yeah. And also, I think the flavors are too much. It should just taste like tobacco. These are smart ideas. Minimalism is the future. Get on it, corporate America. I would tell them that, because uh, you know how every once in a while J.K. Rowling is coming out with some new tidbit from Harry, I would tell him that, that <laughs> I would say, yeah, you know, Dumbledore vaped. Of course he oh. did. did he? he blew fat He probably clouds. did, actually. He also had a three-way with roller skates on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your next question comes from best strong for Be mother. Be strong for mother. Be best. Best wrong for mother. I'm just Come telling on, you. Boy. I'm a big fan of inner caps. <laughs> yeah. Big fan. Uh, question is, fast forward to the year 2038. You're all comfortable in your 50s. Funhouse is just a distant memory in your past. What are you working on? Bring back Funhouse. <laughs> yeah. Funhouse reunion recapture. tour. We're doing it again. Tiberius method one more time. <laughs> Hashtag sex swinging Hi. again. <laughs> Hashtag sex swing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if the uh, super trooper guys can do it, I guess we can. They probably live in bigger houses than we do. I don't think so. I don't live no? in a house, so that's easy. Well, I guess if they all share it. Are we going to live together 50 years from now oh, or whatever? Oh, yeah, we should be in a retirement home together. Retired 50s? at 50? Come on. <laughs> we're going to be working until we're dead. Yeah. Uh, I intend to be multiple internet demagogues. So I'll just have, yeah, multiple AI persona, hmm. and I will pit them against each other. I'll essentially be the uh, the brother from Ender's Game. They made a movie out of Ender's Game. Harrison Ford was in it. So there, that's a pop culture he reference. Didn't, he did not know what set he was on. He's yeah. like, where's George? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to kill him. <laughs> and our final question from Norway Narwhal 99. We know Adam has a Quran quote on his arm, but what tattoos would the other members of Funhouse get? Quick, which way's Mecca? Well, my radar's tingling. <laughs> He'll find it eventually. Do you think you could build a zip line long enough to take you to Mecca? Yes, as long as you're, the Earth is at the right rotation. <laughs> um, I'm gonna get a tattoo of Remy Malik's face. Oh. On my vagina. Yeah. Oh. So then his teeth as Freddie Mercury are on the lips. Oh, okay. That's disgusting. I want to get ahead of the Oscar race. At this point, you're pretty behind. sure it already happened. Yeah. I can't believe no one said the red dragon tattoo. Oh. <laughs> that Ray Fiennes has on that his back. That was actually his tattoo. Did you know that he showed up on set having actually gotten that tattoo? Oh, well, yeah, because his brother has the other half of it. Yeah. 
Joseph Fines. Joseph, Joe Fines. Ray Fines has the top of the dragon, and Joseph Fines. It's uh, all during, the butt Actually, during the, the production of Shakespeare in Love, they had to cover him up a lot. Quick question, though. Does he get upset if you call him Ralph? Do you get upset if someone calls you Adam? I don't have time for this, you say, as you look down at your beautiful Vincero watch. This episode of Open House is brought to you by Vincero. Luxury watches, handcrafted, all for a fair price. Vincero has made it their mission to create compelling luxury timepieces with impeccable craftsmanship to inspire as many people as possible to adopt a winning attitude without breaking the bank. For Vincero, luxury isn't about the price or the specs. It's about the step-by-step -step process that goes into every detail of their product. It's a belief that you deserve the best. Vincero was tired of cookie cutter designs passed off as minimalist merchandise and wanted to offer a watch that was able to stand out and get noticed, all at an accessible price. And no watches better exemplify this mission than Vincero's brand new Rogue Collection, an action watch that keeps you pushing forward. With over 12,000 five-star reviews, Vincero knows they can provide the look and feel of luxury watches 10 times the price. You've got to check them out, because we know you'll love their watches as much as we do. Go to VinceroWatches.com slash HouseFeb19 and enter promo code HAUS to get 15% off your entire order. Exceptionally crafted, fairly priced, get a Ventura watch at VenturaWatches.com slash H-A-U-S-F-E-B 19 plus promo code HOUSE. The red dragon's not too far off. <laughs> his back is so big. Remember when he puts in his dentures and waits? Yeah, I remember everything about the cool parts of that movie, which yeah. is that scene and then when Philip Seymour Hoffman goes down the hill on fire. <laughs> I want my public transportation system to be flaming wheelchairs. <laughs> The I'm not a vampire. Yeah. All right, so what are you playing? I'm going to raise a giant theater from beneath the ground from my hellish that, that's cool. abode. That's cool. Jim. And the entire world will watch all three Star Wars prequels <laughs> on a loop. Oh, no, that's that's you, you are the Antichrist. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you.